Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Also, uh, Ocho, Dallas police is seeking Rasheed Rice in connection with a major ac- accident. Dallas police are searching for Rasheed Rice after a vehicle registered or leased to him was involved in a six-car accident. A Chevrolet Corvette and a Lamborghini was racing in the far left lane when both drivers lost control. Mm. The Lamborghini went onto the shoulder, hit the center median, causing a chain reaction collision involving four other vehicles. Photos and video showed the occupants of the two vehicles leaving the scene immediately after the crash. Josina Anderson is reporting that Rasheed Rice has retained counsel. A statement from the attorney is expected tomorrow. Wait, so the photos leaving the crash. There's video of two guys getting out of the car that was involved in the car, and they're getting out of the car walking away. Wait, so oh, it wasn't Mr. It wasn't Mr. Rice, though, so his, his friend... It maybe- was the, 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 the Corvette was registered or leased to him. Ah, the occupant okay. in the driver's side of the Corvette got out the vehicle and left. The guy that was in the Lamborghini got out and left. Right. We don't know. But he has retained counsel. Retained counsel. Talk A to lawyer. Him. Okay. Damn it. I don't know, man. We, 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 there are enough examples for us young folks. No, it's not. Ocho, all you, all, Ocho, when you try to, when we try to tell them, we hating. Let that man live his life. Shannon, you don't live your life. Let yeah. that man live his life. You see, Ocho, a wise man will learn from others' mistakes. Yeah. A fool must learn from his own. Did you not just see Henry Ruggs get yeah. 11 years? Yeah. But that ain't enough. Go ahead, take off, Ocho. Again, hey, listen, there's something about when you're with your friends, you're okay. young, just getting to the NFL, coming off Super Bowl champion, you're feeling invincible, you're on top of the world, then you make mistakes like this, having fun with your people, at their speed, knowing you ain't supposed to be racing. Well, you know what? It's probably not going to happen to me. There have been other examples of players getting in trouble, speeding, having fun. You know, you're out having a good time. It's the off season. But come on, young bull. Young bull, you got to be smarter than that. You got to be smarter than that. Matter of fact, the people around you got to be smarter than that. Yes. You the golden ticket. They got to protect you at yes. all times. From yourself. You got, if you got the right people around you, they wouldn't be allowing you to do what you out there doing. Mm-mm. You the golden ticket. You the breadwinner. You the one. Yes. So you got to have somebody in your circle. They got to keep order. They got to right. keep order at all times. You know? A or, woman, you cha- or you got to change your friends, one or the other. Oh, Joe, it was reported that a woman was injured in the crash. Oh, said- whoa, I, oh somebody got hurt? A woman was injured in the crash. The men put a four-year son, four-year-old son in danger and walked away without sympathy. Sympathy. We've only seen footage of three people getting out of the Lamborghini. How the hell you get three people in a Lamborghini? Was a Lamborghini? It must have been a Lamborghini truck. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. The Urus. It was, it was the truck. Uh, I was gonna say, ain't no way. How yeah. the hell you get? Who's sitting on somebody lap in a Lambo, Ojo? Yeah. You're right. You're right. I... Uh, the footage hadn't surfaced of who exited the Corvette. But the Corvette is leased or registered to a Rasheed Rice. Yeah. Damn. So, so, I mean, obviously, he hasn't been spotted at the scene. And the pictures, obviously, there are cameras everywhere now. So I'm assuming he's still responsible question. because somebody you're going to get was driving you're his going car. To get a, you, you're going to get an attorney tomorrow? Huh? You're going to get an attorney tomorrow? Yeah, because if it, if if the car is nah, 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 don't, if, don't do no hypotheticals. Yeah, I ask you a simple question: Are you going to retain a lawyer tomorrow? Me? Or are you just speaking hypothetically? Is Ocho Cinco going to retain the services of an attorney tomorrow? No, sir. Why not? Well, shit, I ain't do shit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, oh, oh. I ain't do nothing wrong, but I'm what? saying, listen, you know, you know the law better than I do. If someone is driving your car and the car is registered in your name, even if you're not present at the scene, you're still responsible because it's your car, right? Yeah, the insurance company will probably, they'll probably sue your insurance company. Okay. Oh, um, so and you the, can't sue the individual. Well, hold on. But here's the thing. Do you have, Do first of all, now you can get insurance where... Only you can drive or you can have insurance where you can have additional drivers on the policy. Does he have a policy that has additional drivers? Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay. 
So I, I'm assuming him retaining a lawyer has to do for the fact, again, I don't know. I can't say anything because I don't know if he was at the scene or not. I don't know if he's been driving or not. For the pictures that have come out, no one has said that he was one of the drivers because obviously would have been seen clear as day with them, you know, leave, leaving leaving the mm -hmm. scene. I just, but I think, you know, you know what people are going to do? Yeah. If you if you out with your homeboys and y'all get in the fight and everybody fighting, there's only one person that's going to make the news. Yeah, you. They don't nobody on the door. They 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 say they say nothing about that Lamborghini who it was blown to or nothing. Yeah, they say the Corvette was registered or leased to Rasheed Rice. Mm. He's the name. I just oh, oh, oh yeah. like I said, I think there's enough stories now. Yeah, of guys. I mean, because especially with social media, mm -hmm. and the thing is with you and I, we didn't have the social media. We would we probably heard stories, but right. after the fact. Mm -hmm. After it already but, happened, right? But yeah. for me, once I saw Derek Thomas and Derek Thomas and I, you know, we had our had our run in. But prior to that, DT and I were great. I mean, we worked out together, we partied together, mm -hmm. we did a lot of stuff together, and we had a, we had a, an incident that was a, a, a very very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But when he got thrown from that vehicle because he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, right? I immediately started wearing my seatbelt because somebody that I knew, because a lot of time when you see people, where people got thrown from the car, mm -hmm. nobody I had ever known had gotten into an accident and gotten thrown from the car. Right. That couldn't happen to me. Well, DT, I know DT. I work out with DT. Right. We hang out. We party. We go to Pro Bowls together. We're on the all pro team together. Mm -hmm. What you mean that happened to somebody I know so close? That means it could happen to me. Yeah. Let me, but let me fasten my seatbelt. Listen, it's different, Unc. I'm telling you, you uh, is is you know the mentality I'm talking about. When you get money, when you when things are going really well in life, you damn near feel invincible, and you you do away, you feel like you, you do. can get away with any and everything. People, yeah, women that are watching that are in the chat, think about how you that feeling you had when you got your hair and your nails done. <laughs> you know, you got, listen, no, you, Unc, you laughing? I'm serious, and you you got a little money in your pocket, and you're getting ready to go somewhere. You came out the shower, you got on a good outfit. Think about that times 10 when it comes to NFL players that are millionaires, you know, that are with friends, that are, that are going out places. You 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 kind of lose a sense of self in a sense, especially when you got the yeah. wrong people around you mm -hmm. allowing you to do some of the things you're doing. Now, yeah. boom, if you got your home, if your homeboys know that the car's in your name, why in the hell are you even speeding on the highway, whether I can't even chance is present it. or not? I can't, I can't, I can't chance it, Ocho. You can't chance it because yeah. you're responsible for that vehicle yeah. because it's in your name. You let somebody, mm -hmm. somebody, it's just like anything. Ocho, you let somebody borrow your gun. Yeah. And they shoot somebody. Who, who responsible for that, Ocho? Me. Okay. You let somebody borrow your car and they, they, they do something to somebody. They run a red light or they hit mm -hmm. somebody. You're going to be responsible for that. And so, and I, and I get it, but you know, hey. Hey, bro, yeah. you need to go rent you a car. I can't let you drive. I can't yeah. let you drive mine. Because and, first of all, if you wreck it, you can't, re you can't like, afford to repair it. You can't, you can't repair it. And, and most of the time, it's always, these are, most of the time, it's childhood friends. Yes. Most of the time, it's people that you grew up with all your life. But again, they got to understand, you got to get to a point. Somebody got to be the common sense. Somebody got to restore order. Got to be the responsible one. Somebody got to be the responsible one. Because everybody can't turn up. Everybody can't want to have fun. Everybody yeah. can't want to. Live off, oh, look, my homeboy made it, so we all made it. Yeah. Somebody got to have the common sense. It can't be turn up all the goddamn time. Yeah. Because, man, don't, don't, don't get me started. Right now, Ocho, we've only seen footage of three people exiting the Lamborghini. Right. We have not seen video of anyone exiting the Corvette. Now, I don't know, do they have, is, is the Corvette like a Tesla that do automatic driving? They can have, no, you know, because sometimes the Tesla, you can have it go without a driver being in sight. Now, I don't know if they have that feature on the Corvette, mm -mm. but a car registered to him, it could not have been him. But I just wish these, I wish, like I said, I understand, like you said, Ocho, because like when we come up, we're able to do things mm -hmm. that people in our grade or people above us mm -hmm. aren't able to do. So you actually think that you are invincible because, well, if, if everybody could do what I do, why aren't they doing it? Doing it, right. So now, Ocho, Guess what happens if I get a little money in my pocket? Boy, it's different. It's what? different. What? It's different. You really, you really, 
yes, we all done some things. And you know, I Ocho, I, I remember I would have done things, and I sit back. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Right, right. I'm 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 Sterling Sharp's brother. Mm-hmm. Forget now, Ocho. Forget me. I, right, right, bro. If this happened, the first thing they're gonna say. Green Bay Packer all pro receivers brother Shannon Sharp. That's where they gonna start. They ain't gonna say Shannon Sharp, right. the brother. They're gonna say Green Bay Packers all pro wide receiver Sterling Sharp's brother Shannon was involved in X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. That's why it's so important. The people you keep around you. The people you, I'm, I'm thinking about my day. Obviously, you know I'm I'm from Liberty City. I think about my day. It was structured and there was discipline for those that didn't play the game of football. You mm-hmm. know what side of the track they come from. So you already know how they're moving. They have an understanding. Well, that's that's the asset. We have to protect that at all times. Yeah. So there's certain shit, even if I wanted to do, man, them, man, them boys, ain't, they, not play, they not having that, just in general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They thinking the way I'm not thinking, and they ain't even the one that's in the league. Yep. Yeah. Man, Shaw, go ahead and get your ass home. Go home. That's the type <laughs> of people you're supposed to have in your corner. Them because- the type of people you're supposed to have around you. Them the type of people you let hold your car because you know... I'm going to let him hold my Corvette. I'm going to let him hold my Lamborghini because I know we're going to be responsible. He ain't going to be on goddamn I-95 going 130 miles an hour trying to show off. Man. Ocho. Man, TD, let me tell you. Uh, no, nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Man, you know I had those big body beans. White, big chrome, 22-inch rim sitting on them things. 22? TD come to... Huh? 22s? Yeah, I had a thing. Nice. Oh, it was damn. nice, too. Wait, wait, I had wait. it. It was, it was nice, Ocho. Wait, hold on. So, did, you have, did you have white interior? Nah, I had uh, I had had ash gray. Okay, 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 okay. All my cars always got you know murder dot tent. Okay. So TD come to town. TD TD stay TD stay with me. Yeah. Hey 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 hey, Sharp. Let me hold the wheel. Man, you know that's TD. Oh, he can get it. He good. He yeah. Good. He yeah, don't. Hey, you, you Super, Super Bowl it. MVP. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he. This joker go to Nick. He's got the, got my ride back then. Yeah, shop. I saw you back then over at the strip joint on Stewart Avenue. <laughs> I'm like TD. Hey, TD at the strip club back then. <laughs> I'm like, bro. I said TD. Yeah, my, my, my bad dog. My bad dog. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, you. How you go? I said, now come on, now, now. See, you know I don't go to place like that. And right. you know, I think it, I think it he going, you know, he done got yeah. my whip back then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Frey, Frey, man, hold up, Frey, he ain't even try to hide. He front and center. Front and center. <laughs> God, you know, he, you know what you call him, man. Like he done, he done gave the boys a couple of dollars. They got him up front. Hey, cause right. you know, you go to valet. Hey, you want me to keep you up front? Right. Yeah, yeah put yeah, your boy yeah. up front. Yeah. I'm hey. back. They done got me back then. People, hey, man, shop, I saw you at, over there at the, uh, uh, niggas on Stewart. Right. But you, listen, boy, you, you know how it feel. Again, that feeling, having money, you got your hair cut, you, you got that outfit. And that lady, ladies can attest to this because we, we, um, when they get their hair done, when they get their hair and their nails done, they got that makeup on, they got them lashes, they got the mink, yeah. mink classic volume hybrid. I'm not sure what type of lashes. You know, some people aren't as fortunate enough to have the money to put them strips in, them strips lashes from Walgreens. Yeah, but- when You got the outfit on, it's time to go out with your girls. And you got, you got $100. Yeah. Women don't need much. No, they don't need much because you know the, the if you bad, you don't need no money. Man, they feel you, invincible. They you bad, you, you don't need no money. Good looking women ain't buy ain't bought one drink, ain't buying no all. drink at all. Hey, hey, after the club, they're gonna go get free meals. Hey, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm just trying to get them to understand that in that invincible feeling. Mm-hmm. Where yeah, I'm and it, just and, and, and women y'all that, think about that times ten. When it comes to some of these young dudes that are, that, that are going to make some mistakes, that they're going to make some mistakes, but you you want to limit those. And the, the way you can limit those is for one, making the right decisions and then also having the right people around you. The right people yeah. around you can stop you from doing a lot of dumb shit. Well, you know, they don't got, excuse me, they don't got them bundles. They don't went over to that shop. You know, they got that. You know, they don't got them bundles. You know what they got? What they got them bundles. You know, they don't got them. You know, good wig. Good wig gonna send you back by four, five, four. One of the front legs gonna send you back by four, six, hundred. We we ain't just getting no any wig. We we getting getting, getting wigs from Arrogant Tate. We getting wigs from Lonzo. Like, I'm talking about that Mm. good shit. That good shit last. So when you take it off, you put it on a little mannequin. Yeah, you put it on the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it on the little head. He got his own little head. 
That yeah. way got, got their name. Yeah, Someone that's that got a name that's, that's, Veronica. And yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Hey, that's them good wigs. Yeah, for sure. You, hey, you better not throw that wig up on the dresser. <laughs> <laughs> they got about four, they got about four or five heads up in there. And all of them got wigs. You go to like, <laughs> hey, who? Yeah. Who is that? Oh, dude, you know, don't do that. That's my <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, but women, let me get y'all some advice. You know, hey. I look. To each his own. I ain't got no problem with no front legs, no bundles, no nothing. Mm-hmm. But y'all doing too much with the eyelashes. Y'all got the eyelashes out here looking like Mr. Snuffleupagus. Oh, you remember? What? You remember Mr. Snuffleupagus? Boy, they got the, eyelashes. Uh, Sesame Street, long eyelashes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Listen, I think ladies, you can't even hold the eyes open, Ocho. They try to hold the eyes open and eyes close down because the lashes so heavy. Listen, I, I don't know what I don't know what they do. You know, I'm obviously um, there's a the side hustle for me in a way. I, I don't. I'm, I don't, I don't mean to go off topic, but a way for me to save money during, during my dating life, I always found a way to eliminate some of, some of my expenses when I was dating the women. So I, I'm, I'm shifting into this because it goes to the fact that, you know, I do lashes. I do my kids' lashes. I do their eyebrows, hair. I can, I can do makeup. I can do all this stuff. So when we talk about lashes and I see women with long lashes that don't fit yeah. know, their face, and I'm like, mama, like you, you, don't, you don't need to have... 18, 19, 21, 21 inch lashes in your face, and you know you you so petite, it just don't look right. You yeah. look like you look like a caterpillar sometimes. Yes, and, and I I think it's more so the look, you know, and based on what what image you're trying to portray at the I time. Don't know what 